Hello everyone, buddy, and it is Sunday today, and I'm very excited to share with you guys about my weekend at church and the message, but first, I must tell you a very embarrassing thing that happened to me today, but you guys can laugh with me, but for the probably third or fourth time since I've lived here in Colorado, I... No, maybe this is the second time in Colorado, but I went into the men's restroom. Now, normally, if I start to walk into the restroom, like I had Juniper with me one year when we were traveling, and it was like easy to realize before we did anything or saw anything. So I didn't see anything today, but I actually went potty in the Costco bathroom and came out and saw the guy at the urinal who didn't see me, thankfully, and I ran, and I was like, I can't believe I did that, like, so loud, uh, to make sure in case, because there was man coming to that restroom, but it's, like, so hard, because they put them right next to each other, so it's, like, I like the bathrooms, you know, that are, like, across the room, the two different ones, so, but, yes, the, I did that at Trader Joe's, I told you guys, but it was only two stalls there, so it was a guy going in the room next to me so at least I was able to get out of there really fast before he came out so but this way you know it's it was enough space that I didn't anybody nobody realized what that I was a girl okay in their bathroom okay so also um I'm gonna talk about the message but just um before I forget um that I got to pray for four people um, at the second service because usually, you know, sometimes there's nobody asking for prayer. And I'm I'm actually the only one that goes to all of the services and prays at all of the services and times. Um, so just because I love praying so much. So I know it's so helpful to um, the people who schedule the prayer because uh, I love it so much. So anyways, yeah, I saw we got to pray for four people. They were waiting in line next to me. So that was awesome because I love praying, but it's like the Sundays no one comes up. I'm like, oh, uh, so but God knows the time they're supposed to come up. Okay, so, um, let's see, yes, uh, the song is going to be Reckless Love because this whole sermon, sorry, I have to take a drink. Oh, and I never do my videos this late. It's like almost 7 o'clock. I always do them in the morning or afternoon, but it was so good and I wanted to get it all out today. Okay, so, um, so yes, I'll talk about, then it's about reckless love, and I was like, wow, I just gave the reckless love, oh, rec reckless abandonment, um, and then reckless love, and it's funny, because of course, I just shared that song with you guys on my last video, I love when God does that, all right, so, um, I had it, I think I shared with you guys, um, my subscribers, like, like six months ago or so, but I, um, they played a secular song in the middle, at the end of worship one day, and I was like, what did I just hear? I can't believe that. This isn't church, you know, save it, you know, you guys could have done it at the end or, you know, before people come in or whatever. Really offended. And in fact, um, I, yes, was supposed to be auditioning to play drums and I emailed the guy and I was like, uh, I thought I was <laughs> being loving, but apparently my email was, I guess I got a lot of emails and mine was more uh, not nice. Um, so anyways, I was, I ended up like two weeks or three weeks. I didn't even go to worship. I came afterwards and my, there, like, I was dying in my spirit. Ugh, it just felt icky. And so I talked to a Melinda, who I used to 
go to church for the prayer on Monday. Um, and so I told her about what happened and she's like, oh, yes, I read your email. Uh, and uh, so then I realized she said how many people, the story about hearing a song, um, a secular song that God uses to minister to them. And we can't do that if we don't play the secular songs. And also for the unsaved people, um, how much, you know, those songs could mean. And as I was thinking about it, because that's what the the sermon, the um, assistant pastor today said uh, that that happened again, that somebody, uh, they played Margaritaville last weekend. And uh, anyway, so the couple left and kind of stormed out. And that's what he talked said to Jason as they were leaving the assistant pastor. Um, we're never coming back. That wasn't worship. That wasn't a worship service surface serviced so I was like oh my gosh I so he shared that story and just how that was really hard for him to have told to us but it's like you know we should yes be a place where um where we're look always looking for the ones um that haven't been church and so yes and then i even thought about a song that god used to me with me when i wasn't going to church and one of them was brown eyed girl and that one still like god was singing it to me um so anyways after that i'm like oh my gosh like i even more understand you know i and can relate with them playing secular songs during the summer at the just at the end of the regular worship songs so anyways uh so that, yeah, I'm glad I finally came back around because now I just worship with banners to the secular songs because it's like bringing his kingdom in the middle of it. Uh, and before I walked out, of course, went and to listen to that song. So, okay, um, right. So being Jesus to people. So let's see, ministering to people in our brokenness. Oh, yes. Okay. So I got to worship. Well, so yes, four times. But I so Elise. Okay, so you guys know about Elise. And today, uh, her mom texted me because I was really excited to worship with her with banners because we haven't been able to in like two months or something um, in a really long time. So she texted me and she's like, uh, you know, actually, Elise, because um, I guess before the her teacher at the class she didn't like so that's why she stayed for the whole services so now she likes her teacher so she wasn't going to be there for the service and I was like no like really sad because I love worshiping with her um so I you know so she uh but then they realized why so now because um Elisa's parents are on kids ministry now, so they're at two services, so it, I got to worship with Elise and had like 20 minutes before the service started that we just got to talk and use banners and she has a friend in her class who came out uh, who is, they're both in gymnastics and they were doing the banners. I guess they use the streamers in gymnastics, so it was fun to worship with them and then start the service, second service with the leash. And um, another little girl came up and used, I was like, here, you can use this. And so she was, um, yeah, we're sort of being with us. So had four little girls today. Um, yes, worshiping. Okay, and it was awesome. Okay. 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 Yes, gosh, I think that's all I have to catch you guys up on. Let me just make sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that is everything. Okay, you're all caught up. I'm going to read the devotional. Uh, yes. But that's another reason I like 
praying for because of course I love to worship with banners and now it's I can do them two-handed like this and I was me and Elise we were doing two-handed because I'm like I bet you can't do this you know uh and my room is so perfect for worshiping see guys it has a dome ceiling uh and it's a giant so it's and Elise was like jealous when I told her how big my room was and I can worship and not run into anything like when I tried to do it in any of my other houses so it was fun catching up with her I love her oh my gosh okay so yes and I'm not sure if I told you guys but I'm trying to get together a class for kids to learn banners at church uh, once a month uh, so if you guys can be praying with me I'm waiting to hear back from the people who are in charge of that but I, oh my gosh because I just there's so many kids here and I just think I, I know that they love like if, especially when Elise is doing it like other kids want to come up and do that too so yes be praying with me for that and I'll let you know when I do hear oh yes and that's part of why I'm so late I got to spend birthdays with both of my my niece and nephew and that's one of the great things why my mom is committing to take me for the whole weekend well just Saturday and Sunday because she's very protective of her weekends rightfully so she works so hard during the week so but she's making this exception because this is going to be her time with grandkids and also our friend Charlene that I lived with before um, my mom they're best friends so they get time together too so I'm just so blessed to be going to all four services twice a week um, and just got to everybody was so worried about me that hasn't seen me and didn't wasn't in my little circle to know about the car accident and the kids being here so it's just so good hugging everyone and hi uh, okay, now I'm just gonna read um, just a poem because yes, I know it's I don't want this video to be too long. Um, <clears throat> oh, hold on, water. <clears throat> okay, a poem for hope and healing. A bluebird whistles on tune on a mag um, magnolia blossom as a hawk cut through the lavender sky. Old tulip trees dance as mountains broke into song. Squirrels dance on a wire as flowers opened in unison. Just as Jesus broke our hearts wide open, that the stone that kept hope at bay finally rolled away all right you guys i hope you had blessed 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 weekends and sundays and i will talk when i have more of this oh my gosh i almost forgot to pray oh heavens okay here we go all right thank you lord so much for all of my amazing blessings um and especially everybody who watches my videos i ask that whether they go to church or not that they would have such a sense of your peace today and joy and um hope lord just pour out your abundant goodness on all of my subscribers lord amen all right i love you guys talk when i have more to say if I can get to...